Thanks, Dave. Well, here at home, we may be turning a corner on the coronavirus pandemic, but that's not the case in India. A surge in cases has pushed hospital systems to the brink, and oxygen supplies have dwindled as the country has reported more than two and a half million cases in the past week alone. Joining me now are Surya Murthy and Adam Camp. They're leading a relief effort here at home to try and help the struggling system over there. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thank you so much for having us so that we can speak on this very pressing situation. After talking with my dad, Dr. Harish Murthy last week, Adam and I felt that we needed to do something. Definitely. I mean, you guys are working closely with a doctor and a couple of philanthropists over in Bangalore. So um, talk to me a little bit about what they have told you about the situation that uh, that they're in right now. Yeah, so we've been working closely with my dad's close friend, uh, Hamanshu, and he's a very su successful philanthropist. And from what he has told us, the immediate need is for oxygen concentrators and BiPAPs. Um, so we've started this GoFundMe and anything uh, that we can do to raise the money to purchase these things, we will take. So uh, you're hoping to raise about $250,000. That's what your goal is on your GoFundMe. Talk to me a little bit about the types of equipment other than those oxygen concentrators uh, that you're looking at purchasing. So we are actually looking to purchase about 200 oxygen concentrators. And then as well as that, we are looking to buy about 200 BiPAP machines for the first wave of our help. But after we purchase these life-saving devices, we'll move forward our efforts into food and housing and dealing with the outcome of whatever happens. And we will try our best to accomplish that. All right. Are you guys just uh, friends? And, and Adam, you just decided to, to help uh, Surya once she spoke with her father? Yeah, so I actually work for Dr. Harish Murthy at his office. I am an aspiring medical student, mm -hmm. same with Surya, and we are friends throughout high school, and um, we both wanted to help, and this was just the perfect opportunity. Definitely. I mean, this whole past year must have been uh, quite interesting for you all to be medical students during a pandemic. I'm sure it, it really opened your eyes to just how much help um, our healthcare system needs here at home. But now seeing this, it, it's got to be pretty uh, mind blowing, huh? Exactly. Yes, definitely. Uh, so will you be buying the equipment here and then sending it over there? Or is most of it already there and you just need to send the funds? What's that process looking like? So the goal is to purchase most of the equipment here because in India right now, it's very hard to get our hands on this type of equipment. But we are actually running into a roadblock because we are not a licensed business or reseller of these devices. We can't buy them in the bulk amounts that we need. So we really wanted to reach out to any suppliers or businesses out there that could help us with this to accomplish this goal. Okay, so maybe not even just funds, but, but hoping that maybe you'll get some donations of some of these products. Correct, that would be awesome. Okay, okay. I mean, over the last year, we've been really fixated, of course, on what's happening in our own backyard. Obviously, we had quite uh, a few different waves of surges in cases, and um, things were, were very uh, touch and go there for a, a while. Now that we're able to kind of open up our scope to other areas, especially having such a large Indian population here, why do you guys think it's so important for others to care about what's happening over there? I think it... I think it's so important for us to care because we were giving, given all these opportunities being in America and there are great people in India who are trying to do great work and they are not given the same opportunities as us and just being a compassionate human, I think we should try to assist them in whatever way possible being as fortunate as we are. Surya? Thankfully, I was back and I was thankfully I was vaccinated just a few months ago. But um, unfortunately, in India, the vaccination rates are incredibly low. And so they cannot they're unable to meet the moment. And so I just feel like whatever we can do, we come from a very privileged area and we have a responsibility to help out those that uh, need their help need help. So um, I just felt like it was it's honestly an honor for me to be able to help. And I feel like coming from a place of privilege, it uh, it's especially important.
Definitely. So uh, again, this is you're raising money through this GoFundMe page. Uh, I do want to show folks exactly um, uh, what that page looks like. Again, $250,000 is your goal, but uh, right now you're just at about $27,000. What else would you like people to know about the situation there in India and what you've learned? I mean, speaking with your dad and speaking with your uh, dad's uh, close friend there, I'm sure you've heard some stories that, that are just kind of astonishing. Yeah, definitely. And I think one of the biggest problems is that there are people who are too ill to go home, but they're still sick enough to stay in the hospital. And so there's a lot of overflow and a lot of beds that are getting taken up. And so that's another thing that we're looking at to raise funds for in the future is extra beds um, and extra spaces that we can so people can spread out because the big problem is, is that the hospitals are basically overrun. Um, and so just kind of thinking it's going to probably be a long be a long fight. And so we just kind of have to think for right now. But um, that's been a big problem is the hospital have just been completely overrun. Okay, well, uh, thank you guys so much for joining me and, and sharing what you all are doing to try and help those over there who so desperately need it. Really appreciate uh, the work you're doing. Thank you so much. Thank you for the time. Thank you for having us. Of course.